My name is Matt with the National Weather Service Chicago office located in Romeoville. It's 8 a.m. on Friday, May 31st. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia weather briefing. I want to take these next few minutes to bring you up to date on another severe thunderstorm threat day today, as well as the potential for some heavy rain today into tonight. Once again today, thunderstorms are likely by afternoon and potentially continuing into the evening across the region. We're under an atmosphere that's very similar to Thursday, and actually the winds are even stronger in the atmosphere, making for severe weather potential. Now the coverage of severe th thunderstorms this far north, in northern Illinois, northwest Indiana, may end up being limited, but it depends on several factors. Any storms that do reach severe limits will have the primary threats of very strong winds as well as very heavy rainfall. Now there may also be some isolated large hail, and there could be some isolated tornadoes in the most severe, well-organized storms. The little map here shows the risk areas as defined by the National Weather Service's Storm Prediction Center. We are under a slight risk of severe weather today with a higher enhanced threat down in Oklahoma into the Ozarks. The timing for our area is really the afternoon and evening. At this point this morning it's tough to get more precise than that although we will show a graphic with our best first estimate of timing. It's possible that storms could be moving over to Chicagoland near or during the late afternoon commute. Now, the more sunshine, the more instability that builds across the area, that will lead to better likelihood of scattered severe storms. And right now our high temperature forecasts are in the, the low 80s. But the more sunshine we get, the warmer those temperatures, the more instability that's present. Here is a look at the early morning radar showing well-organized storms in Missouri. And this will be a key factor on whether or not we get severe weather and just how much severe weather transpires this far north in Illinois and Indiana. The blue shaded area shows the best estimate on where we think this organized area of storms will evolve through the late morning into the early afternoon. Along this area, as you get into the afternoon, more severe thunderstorms are likely to develop, especially on the south side of this, but potentially right out ahead of it on the east side. Now it's possible this complex evolves further north and the entire area uh, is under a better severe weather threat or it evolves a little further south and that would keep a lot of our area under the severe weather threat. So that is something we will be watching uh, closely here uh, this morning but this will play a very key role as the, the clouds from this and potentially the rain from this may lower our warming and lower our instability. So by early afternoon, we expect thunderstorms from that, or at least developing around that, to be encroaching into the southwestern forecast area, including areas such as Pontiac, Gibson City, and the LaSalle, Peru area. From there, these storms will likely expand east-northeast, and after early afternoon again, as they get tapping that heat of the day, they may re-intensify, and probably will, especially in central Illinois, but maybe this far north too, and this is where we'll run into our best severe weather threat, mid to late afternoon into the early evening. We are also under a heavy rainfall threat. Here's a look at the forecast rainfall through the next basically 48 hours, and we can see over two inches predicted, and already wet grounds of uh, central and east central Illinois and northwest Indiana. The blue shades generally indicate over three quarters of an inch too, so a good soaking once again predicted. Now some areas may see more rainfall than this, especially if storms can set up training over each other, namely tonight, which may become a favorable setup across portions of uh, central and eastern Illinois into Indiana. And also, also on Saturday, storms may continue in those areas. Active watches and warnings this morning are all tied to the flood area. And we have a flash flood watch for all of northern Illinois. Uh, that will go uh, for north central and northeast Illinois into northwest Indiana until 7 a.m. Uh, on Sunday. And then we have a river flood warnings that are in effect as well. So in summary, we expect at least scattered thunderstorms by 2 to 4 p.m. across the area. Now with an atmosphere similar to Thursday, a lot of instability present, even more favorable winds, there will be severe weather potential. And it's kind of a a full bag of severe weather threats, but the main ones would be strong winds and organized storms and heavy rainfall. Can't rule out large hail or possibly some tornadoes. The coverage of severe storms this far north still has a high 
degree of uncertainty. Uh, but we at least again expect scattered storms and the atmosphere will be favorable for at least some severe weather. So keep aware of changing weather conditions, especially if you have outdoor uh, plans and ensure that you have a means to hear if any watches and warnings are issued from the National Weather Service. Again, it's 8 a.m. on Friday, May 31st. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia weather briefing. Forecast information could change at a later time and probably will, so be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov slash Chicago, for the latest forecast information. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, local media, or our social media outlets, Facebook and Twitter, for the latest information on any watches or warnings that may be issued. Thank you.